Welcome back now to some more stories. A 45-year-old woman has been hospitalized after her husband shot her in a misunderstanding over food. Ikwa Buedu, resident of Ibuakwa near Kumasi, suffered the faith during a visit to the husband, Kwesi Amadu, in the Ichima Kwabunya district. Prince Apia reports. Love news sources say the man turned down a request by the woman to share a bowl of tozafi he had bought. Amadu became offended, refused to eat supper, and ordered Madame Bedu out of the matrimonial home for vowing to pay him back when she had a turn. Consequently, the woman who had been married for 25 years with five children spent the night in an uncompleted building nearby. <laughs> Last Sunday, my husband bought food, so I asked that I join to eat, she says. But he said to me, I didn't buy the food, so he wouldn't give me. This ended up in a little misunderstanding. The next morning, he asked that I pack and leave. So I did as he said. After packing, he brought out a gun and asked three times if I will receive it or leave. So I asked why. But on the third time, he shot me twice. He was drunk by then. Madame Bedou, who was wounded in the shoulder and buttocks, was rushed to the SDA hospital at Dominase, where she is currently responding to treatment. Yao Owusu is unit committee chairman at Chiniase, Japan, where the incident occurred. Fear has engulfed the community. We want security to be intensified. We fear he could attack another person if we go after him because he left with a gun. The police should come to our aid. He says the case has been reported to police at Simfi, but they are yet to visit the crime scene while the culprit is on the run. Meanwhile, Simfi police say they are investigating the issue. Prince Apia reporting. Away from that, fire has gutted an entire three-story dormitory block of the St. Charles Senior High School in Tamale, displacing over 500 students of a school. School authorities have been compelled to send the students home until further notice. My colleague Mohamed Hashmin is at the scene and joins us via phone for more updates. Hello Hashmin, if you can hear me, what's the latest in the St. Charles School following the fire that got at the school last night? Well, the first and second year students have been told to go home and return on the 28th of March. That is somewhere next week. While the final year students in exams will be told to also go. Those are measures that the school authorities are putting in place to be able to contain the fire situation that, uh, that occurred at 9 p.m. last night. Okay, so currently, what is the situation at the school precisely where you are? Well, currently, the management of the school are locked out in the meeting. They are finding ways to be able to resolve the situation on time. The students can return back to school. But in the interim, those are just the measures that they are putting in place to be able to contain this fire incident. And the... Ghana Education Service, the Northern Regional Director of the GS in, in the region, has also provided about 100 mattresses to the students. You know, this fire, it, this fire that started at 9 p.m. last night destroyed virtually everything at the three-story dormitory. It started at the first floor of the, the, the dormitory and then ran through to the, the last, the last hotel. And the students have lost all their belongings, their mattresses, their food, their clothing. Virtually everything has been lost. Many of them have not been able to salvage anything from the fire. 
All right, Hashmi, do we know if any casualties were recorded during this incident? There hasn't been casualties for the students. They were attending to prep when they hear noise coming from the direction of the dormitory from neighbors, and they rush for it to witness their uh, three-story dormitory uh, gutted to fire. We hear the school um, has temporarily been closed down. Do we have an idea when exactly uh, school will resume for students to begin classes? For first and second year students, uh, in the interim, they will report on the 28th. Yes, students who have their, who will be writing their papers tomorrow have been told to go home and then return tomorrow, 23rd. Very well. Many thanks to you, Hashmin Mohammed, my, co my correspondent there, who uh, has been giving us some updates on that unfortunate fire incident. Now, some more stories. 20 young leaders from nine West African countries have commenced their leadership training at the Young African Leaders Initiative Regional Learning Center for West Africa at the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration. The Yali Regional Leadership Center is a project of the United States Agency for International Development in Close Partnership with the MasterCard Foundation to raise leaders from the continent of Africa. We take another break, we return with business, stay on.